Hello everyone, welcome back to Neji Studio. In this video, you are gonna know how to operate the machine wirelessly. All right, for the cable here, the USB cable, you do not need this one anymore. All right, so in our first live stream, uh, I don't know if you already use this function because we mentioned that Neji Max 4 and also for our Neji 3 series, they just support for the wireless operation. Alright, so uh, in this live stream, we're gonna give you some of the details because in your workshop, maybe there is a little bit messy or you do not have enough room because uh, you will just stack a lot of the items in your workshop and when you're just doing some of the project, there will be uh, the smoke or a really smelly smell. So you can just directly take uh, your laptop to another room so you can just operate the machine and you will know the process of the this uh, progress here or you can just take your laptop to your front yard uh, sit on the grass take uh, some of the tea and then you can just operate the machine wirelessly all right i think that will be a really amazing experience for you and if you um you know in your workshop maybe your table is not big enough for you to put one more laptop there and uh, that will be not convenient for you or if you want to get a uh, one more small table to uh, connect and hold your laptop on that small uh, table there and the cable is not long enough so i think for the two situations that will be not uh, not convenient for you to use the usb cable so here we go we just got this function here for you to make it easier and more um, impressive for, for you to use this machine and also library and also the laptop here all right so um so if you want to use this wireless function you need to make sure that um your laptop here got a ble bluetooth function and right here for our nature software we only got the windows version here so this will be the um two uh two things that you need to pay attention to all right so here we go uh we'll go over the desk, uh, demo here all right we'll just go over the demo here First, it will be the first method. This one um, is okay for the NAJ3 series, like NAJ3, NAJ3 Plus, or NAJ3 uh, Max, yeah, and also NAJ Max 4. This, uh, the first method, will uh, be applicable for those machines. And the second method that we got will be only applicable for NAJ Max four and also three max. All right, so first we will go over a much easier way here, all right? A much easier way will be the Bluetooth control here. So firstly, you need to do is um, download some, uh, download the software from NAJ and also um, got the firmware, okay? Make sure that you're using the latest version of the software and firmware. All right, let's go to the downloading page got two methods for you to wirelessly operate this machine here so for the first method here you need to make sure that the software that you are using right now will be the latest version all right so you can just go to our naj99.com make sure that you are using the latest software for windows here because for naj software so far we only got the windows version all right and then you can just go to our NAJ software. I want to click this one. I want to connect my device with Liburn. Then here will be a driver here for you. You need to download this driver here, or you can just click here to download here. And you need to make sure that so far the firmware that you're using right now is also the newest version. So this will be the three things that you need to make sure firstly. And then if you just finish the three things, then you can just select the Bluetooth device here. So far in our last year, we just got two NAJ Max 4 device here. One will be our 9B and another will be 59. So firstly, I will double click 9B here firstly. And then you need to connect library while the Bluetooth because we need this bridge here. All right, so this is ready right here. 
actually the store button here. Okay, so now we can just go to library because we need to connect the port here. You can choose the COM6 or COM7. The two ports are all okay. Let's see. Let me just click the home button here firstly. All right, so uh, after the framing, I just click the framing button here. Okay, and for this function here, you can also, uh, you know, you can operate another machine as well. So let's have a try. You need to close, close this window here. Just now we are running the Nature Max for the 9B device and we will try another device for our Nature Max 459. Okay. So I want to break connection, but do not close the software. So I can choose another Bluetooth device here. Another of the machine that we got in our workshop right now will be Nature Max 459. Double click it to connect. Don't forget to click this connect library via Bluetooth. And then just click this start connection bridge here. So you will see that you can just connect this port in library, COM6 or the COM7. Both of them are okay. Click it to connect. And then just go to library. All right. Let's go homing. So you will see there is another of our machine is working right now. Let's do framing. All right, so this will be the whole progress for you to uh, running the machine here. You can use our nature software here and connect to different devices. So this will be quite convenient for you if you want to run different of the project in two devices. All right, so this will be the first way for you to um, operate this machine wirelessly. You do not need the USB cable anymore. And here goes for our second method. All right, let me just close everything. Let's go for our second method here. For the second method, you do not need to uh, download the driver and we do not need that bridge. Okay, just double click our software and then just uh, connect to the device that you want. Firstly, let's go for our 9B here. All right, so it's already connected. And then we'll just choose the port here. So after your design is finished in library, then you can just click save G code right here. We need to select a device here. I will just save this one on our laptop. Okay, so you see that one, uh, we just name it to be AAA. Okay, let's see. So you can just directly put this file in our NetJ software, choose a region, and then click the start button. All right, it's running right now. It's running super fast. Yeah, it's running. It's working as well. And so for this function here, um, when you are just doing this progress for the product, you do not need to, uh, this won't occupy your laptop. So you can just close this one and connect to another machine. All right, so you see that our machine for the Nature Max 4 9B is working right now. And we can double click on, 
yeah, it's running, it's running for that one. Then we'll just double click another machine, we'll connect to another machine to run for another project. All right, it's homing right now. The steps will be the same because um, all right, so, so far it's connected. Um, I want to get another of the project here. You can just directly put this G code file in our software and choose a region. All right, I think the two projects, they are the same. So you can just click the start button here and then our Nagent Max 4, that one, will be the 59 were running. See that? All right, so this will be this wireless function here for you uh, through our Bluetooth here. So for this function, I think it's super great for you because um, uh, you can operate many of the products, uh, projects in one time and you can operate like two different devices or three different devices and all the projects they can just run together all at once in the same time. All right, so this will save a lot of your time when you are just um, uh, doing a business and you want to make, make more projects a day. So you can use one laptop and then you can just control three of the devices or like more devices. All right, so this is how we work in here for our uh, wireless connection uh, together with library software and our NJ software here. If you have any questions and if you uh, wanna know more about this function, you can just let us know. All right, leave your comment in our comment section in this video. All right, so, so much for this function here, and we'll get ready for our next topic here, maybe topic another time, okay? For another time, we'll talk about more interesting topics here, and we'll see you next time.